Hello Magic players, Corn Time 60 here, and we're doing it again. Chromatic Cube, here we go. It is a format. Let's call it that. Something like a format. Oh, Davriel is one of those cards that really annoys me because I don't... There's no way for me to know what it does. If I don't know what it does, that bothers me. I'm leaning towards Ugin. What are the... Forget the AI. Low Strider, Davriel... Uh, they discard a card. If they can't, they sacrifice. Uh, target creature perpetually gets minus three, minus three. Harrow is good. Timeless Witness. Felidar Retreat. Just gives you too much value for you to lose. Um... Ugin strong, Junji strong. We are but in a vast multiverse. I keep seeing Forgeborn Phoenix. Leyline binding, huh? If I have any sacrifice effect, that thing could be insane. I like Tireless Tracker, actually. How hard can I push colorless? Gain one life and draw a card. Seems pretty good. Tadiova's way up there, too. Wait, these are not in order? These are not in order. Tireless Tracker's an NA. I do like Tireless Tracker. Tadiova also really good. Let me draw lots. Palladium Ur is the kind of thing that is actually likely to wheel. Thorns, just the battlefield, reveal the top five, put a land onto the battlefield, and then the rest, blah blah blah, put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library. I think Cavalier is correct. If I'm going Stompy. Of course Cathar's a 5-0. Mmm. It's either Cavalier or Brutal Cathar. Shia? That's also really strong. There's a couple ways a Shia can go wrong. Even just a vanilla 5-mana five 5-5, five five, like, if I have no other creatures, it's still pretty good. I think I like Ashaya. Mothra's good, for sure. I don't even know Mothra's actual name. Or more tokens would be put in. That many 4-4s four also. I 
Uh, sushi is pretty solid. Lantern makes all colors on. Look at Archive. So far, we're a little all over the place. No, we're not. So far, we're mono green. Which would be great if I could just go mono green. And have enough powerful cards. I just don't see that happening. I need big Ugin. That's what I need. This thing's regular crew is two, three. So far, all my creatures can crew it. I didn't like any of those cards, so I grabbed Orrery. Look at the top and cast creature spells from the top. You spend mana as though or may have any color to cast creature spells. Dragon Master Outcast is actually potentially really powerful. Like, letting me cast creatures off the top is pretty good, but... Because if I have enough lands, he's just insane. There's the Timeless Witness. Teddy Ova. Surprise that wield. Card, da, da, da. So I could run blue for Tadiova, which makes Alrun's Epiphany good. Red. Silex is not bad. If I did want to go red, Augnus is pretty good. Dragon Master Outcast is not bad. I think Epiphany is the best card here, though. Against aggro, Silex is really good. Silex probably won't wheel. Shigeki's pretty good for ramp. So is Midnight Clock. Ah, If there's World Tree in this, then Golos is pretty good. I have a lot of five drops already. I'll get Golos. Shouldred's insane. Garrick is good, though. It 
Is Shouldred better than Tadiova, though? Probably not. Probably won't run Orrery. It's too goofy. He drawn Archive I might put in the same boat. Of just a little too goofy. Garrick I like, though. Fibblethip's decent. Meteor Golem's decent. Fable's really good. Nissa? So I could splash red or I could splash blue. Right now, blue actually looks more powerful. That is a harrow. That does give me access to five colors. If I were to splash red black, nah. There's nothing blue here though, so. They play an additional land each turn. Lands you control are every basic land type. Johnny's pretty good. Let's me just start stealing their top card constantly. That seems kind of insane, actually. Could go with Jund. Seems risky. It's not that you control, so this thing can become like anything. It could become the. Uh, not Ugin, but it could become a shot. No. That's legendary. Jacob Hawkins, not bad here, I don't think. Silex came around again. So let's get it. All right. It looks like a hyena. All right. Target artifact, creature, enchantment, or land. Doesn't work with legends. Which I mostly have legends, so. Probably cut the Mirage Mirror. Fibble Thip. I don't have the lands to support that. I 
What does this actually do? It's not great. Golgari command, Witherbloom command, Sram. Hello, Oracle of the Alpha. Looks like it might be a ninja. Really hope a Sika comes around. I just don't think I can actually pass up Oracle of the Alpha. The card's just too powerful. A Sika's kind of insane in this deck, though. Temple would be nice, too. Sky Sovereign's not bad, that's for sure. Double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn and they gain Vigilance. Bro, what? Oh! Could splash red and white. Things insane. What do you do? Uro. Yes, please. All right, we're almost at a good, uh, good twenty-three for uh, non-land cards. And then, if any of those other fixers come around, I can grab those. This is a really weird deck. Who knows if it'll actually work? Reclamation Sage, huh? I don't think Gyruda is actually very good. Probably won't run that. I could also cut Fibbletip. Sika came around. I mean, Fibblethip does work with the uh, the whole legendary thing. I'm not running any of these, so let's just pull Domri over to the sideboard. Omnath! Let's get the land. A lot of powerful five drops. I mean, Sky Sovereign does also, like, bolt something and then bolt something again. At least it has the potential to. Right now I'm only two cards over, which I can probably live with. A lot of solid two drops. I'm sure the AI builds something totally different. The AI always builds something, like, 
totally different. Look, it even put Sulkanar above that. Faithless Looting is an insanely powerful card in the right deck. I don't think this is the right deck. Yeah, I mean, I can live with two over. I can definitely live with being two cards over. But let's see what the AI wants to build. Bro, Soul of Wind Grace. What is this? Not even running a single swamp for it. How do you intend to cast that, huh? Just Dryad? Literally just Dryad. That is very stupid. The AI doesn't know what it's doing. And probably neither do I, but... Alright, let's take a minute. Look at the deck a little bit longer. Just so I know what I'm working with. Legends. Planeswalkers. Ramp. Let's try it. I wonder if there's anything that's like a non-bow with uh, Silex's first ability. I can't think of anything. Nicodemus Fett. It's a name. It is a name. Ancestral Recall. Time Walk, Time Twister. Black Lotus and the Moxes. Carry added. Or carry I don't know how you want to pronounce that. Is that a Soul Ring pet? That is nuts. Let's get it. Uh, do I want to Uro? Or Oracle? Let's Oracle. On the off chance I run into Ancestral Recall off the top now. Also, Moxes are not even dead cards right now. Like, I could use the mana. Scry 2, draw 2. Not bad. Oh, his sleeves are cooler than mine. His pet is cooler than mine, but... Uh, his name's probably even cooler than mine. Let's go with the forest. Swing, scry. I will take the land. Just trying to value here. What just happened? Until it leaves. Okay, that's fine. It's a five drop. I could just play Silex, but Mox Pearl? Why not? Sanctuary Warden, also pretty strong. And flying. Ouch. I can kill Angel of Sanctions. And still play Silex, actually. Did remove the counter, so I'm probably just gonna pop Silex. This also has reach, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, 
white, green, 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 blue. Let's go with Cavalier. Dig five for a land. Would've liked the time walk. Not gonna lie. Uh, three and three. Get the green because it helps this turn. Oh, it graves the rest of them? Ouch. Very ouch. Um, it's plus you. I play Jake. Dream Eater. He bounces probably Cavalier, if I had to guess. No! Look at you all doing the right thing and all. Soul Herder! Holy crap. Diviner of Fates. Yeah, if he blinks the Sanctuary Warden, though, I'm fucked. Like, I'm pretty sure I actually lose if that's what happens. Because I would still have to pop Silex. Okay, good. Oh, unless that can hit Silex. Tadiova? Yes. Fine with that. So, six. One, three, four, five, six. That leaves me two extra mana. Start with this, though. You have your upkeep, exile the top card. You may look at that card. You may play from among the cards exiled with this permanent. Wait, does that mean I can get a free Auron's Epiphany? Because if it does... Let's cast that for free. And then explore. That means I want the card. In case you didn't get that. Let's Lotus. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then blow up everything. Sure. Seems good. Kaya. Kaya's pretty good. Rafine's pretty good, too. <laughs> That's so dumb. Alright.
Let's see. Could play Golos. Does it come in tapped? It does come in tapped. Let's escape Uro. <laughs> That's so dumb. Play Fibble Fit. Oh, time walk. Well, that makes things stupid. Farewell. That's pretty good. Start with Time Walk. Oh, he exiled all graveyards, too, so Time Twister is actually not good. Huh. Tracker? Land clue. Three, four. Let's do this. Does that have to be a permanent? It does. It does, in fact, need to be a permanent. Mm. Oh, that sucks. Take seven. Play agent, play Asika. He may have the farewell in hand. Which would make this pretty- oh, is that permanent? Until your next turn. Weird. God Eternal Ronus should help keep
keep me winning. It may be that I shouldn't have played a Sika. This is such a weird game, man. Mysterious limo. Bye bye. He must not have the farewell then. Who? That's pretty good. Let's start with this. Don't really want to actually play that. Or I can play it and not use the ability. Yeah, let's try to attack. Sure. He doesn't have a target, but he can block. Oh, he's gonna crew up. Look at him go. So he's gonna take six. Um, let's play Champy. Kinda sucks. I could always get back the Time Twister and then Time Twist. There it is. Time walk. Let's start at the start. I don't think that actually does enough. Because if any one creature gets in... He's really trying, though. Okay, crazy ass game. That was a result of casting Oracle of the Alpha twice, somehow. I'm not sure how I got it to enter twice. I don't think I did it on purpose. I think the opponent did something that, uh... Right, they played the angel that exiles it until it leaves. The Oblivion Ring Angel, whatever it's called. Whatever it actual name is. Also name known as uh, the Oblivion Ring Angel. Everything's Oblivion Ring. <laughs> Everything that exiles something until it comes back is like, oh, it's like an Oblivion Ring. I, even when I first saw Brain Maggot, I was like, oh, it's like an Oblivion Ring, but for their hand. That's pretty cool. Do I have a two-drop? No. Teddy Ova is also pretty good.
seems not ideal. Hello, opponent. I'm going to ramp. I mean, you have Yorian mana, you could just play Yorian. Runic shot, not kicked. Teleportation circle. He must have some good ETB stuff. If that be the case. Oh shit. I cannot play both. I can play Silex and Fortell. Which wouldn't even really be better, honestly. Well, let me think. Three, six, nine, twelve. Three, four, five, six. do kind of mind giving up the Dryad, but I can also eat all the damage because of all this life I've gained. No blocks. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ouch, but not all the way ouch. Six, so... Non-land permanent. Did you get that? Did you catch that part? Where it becomes one-sided? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We're one off. That's kind of annoying. Okay, he's he's done. I never thought of a Shia with anything that destroys all non-lands. Turns all my creatures into lands, so the destroys all non-lands does not affect me. I'll keep it. The deck is mostly green anyway, and if I can explore and hit any land and play Dryad, then I have access to blue. Or, you know, that could just happen. I did that in the wrong order. Shite. Well, Agent. Should have played the forest, then explored to play the island to play the Agent. Need to draw. Being able to play extra lands does nothing if you don't have those lands. Paradise Druid? Sure. I'm gonna play Golos and grab an island.
Wanna trade? No? Solemn. All right, we're both ramping. Kind of cool. This hits lands. Hmm. If the Explorer misses, I'm gonna feel kinda stupid. I have a pretty good chance of hitting a land off his top cards. Four, five, six. All right, let's just try it. Nope. Let's swing with Golos. Oh, I thought he would block with the Simulacrum. Plus three, plus three tramples, pretty good. Oh! I was like, you're gonna hit the tracker and not Golos? Like, really? Rashmi's kind of insane. Let's start with Fibblethip, though. Could also Garrick here. Which will give something trample. Probably rash me would have been better. But I think this turn I just use uh, Agent of Rafine. Which does not say activate only as a sorcery. Bruh. Alright, that's pretty good. Aether Channeler? Sure. Draw, draw. Seems legit. Yeah, he built this whole deck around ETBs then. It's a breeding pool. I can live with it. And then I have three, four after that. So I can play Garrick and Rashmi. Alright, opponent. Next turn, God Eternal Ronus is coming down. What does it do? Oh shit, destroy two permanents. Seems legit. Bye bye, rash me, huh? He can just do that over and over again. Pay three mana, destroy two target permanents. Kind of nuts. So you can destroy six permanents. I don't think I like that. It 
See if he has an answer. All he does is blink the Meteor Golem three times. Like, that's the right play. I'm gonna destroy all of my creatures and then swing out. Or destroy six of my lands and cut me off from doing anything. Unfortunately, Silex doesn't even get me there here. Because he can just kill the Silex before I get a chance to activate it. There must be some way out of this, though. Cannot for the life of me imagine what it might be, but there has to be something. Permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. None of those really help. Sika doesn't really help. Yeah, Silex, because it enters tapped. Alright, they, they did the right thing with their deck. Holy crap. Losing to, like, four color enters the battlefield shenanigans feels a little bad, but... They definitely know what the powerful interactions are in this format, so I gotta give them props for that. Yes, please. This guy's got all the mocks and the Black Lotus on a string. He has Time Walk here and Time Twister here. Wait, time Walk, Time Twister. Yeah, that's all of them, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only count eight. I mean, yeah, keep this hand, but. Oh, Recall. That's the book. Oh no, opponent's playing like an, a proper deck that does things. No blocks. It's a land. Ooh, tireless tracker. Gonna make me think. I don't think I can really afford... to do that now. If I don't hit a land, this is going to feel so bad. Hey, Did not get punished. And Oracle of the Alpha comes down. Let's get the power nine in the deck. They're all blue except for the artifacts, huh? 
The power nine are all blue. I will block. 110%. Try me. No? Who? All right. I mean, I'll take that. Let's attack first. I will take a land. Oh, well, that's okay. I can live with that. Let's foretell something, some mysterious card in my green-blue ramp deck. Who knows what it could possibly be? What could it possibly be, I wonder? I think I'll do well enough playing my own deck that I don't need this to win. Lyra, pretty good. Hang on to these. If I draw a land, then I can pop off with Tireless Tracker one more time before I pop the Silex and blow up the board. Of course, if I do hit the white one, I can just pop off with Golos first, which is insane. Hiya. I'm guessing that's Golos or no Silex. Tracker. Who? Lucky. Unbelievably lucky.
That was the worst way you could have played Kaya, opponent. I hope you know that. I hope you played, know you played that as bad as possible. Um... Blow it up. Mox. Mox. Green, green, witness the alpha, I think. Shadow Spear, pretty cool. Jacob Hawkin. Oh no, I mean, he's pretty good, but he's not the best. Wait, I do not have the green to eternalize. I'll actually bottom him. I think I'm winning this game. Elesh Norn would hurt. Ooh. Bye bye, Oracle, huh? And now we find out if I made a mistake. And he blinks the Chupacabra. Smart. They're from the top? Yeah, sure. is thinking he can get woe strider back opponent is playing fair and i'm not of course if i hadn't board wiped earlier i would be dead okay he got back the woe strider which i am not worried about at all Sure. <laughs> okay. Start with that. Time Twister also gives them a lot of cards, though. I can just kill the Woe Strider. I mean, it's not the worst. I can Time Twister because I might just hit something powerful. Uh, yeah, let's do it. 
play the game. Uh, let's Lotus. What do you think? If I dry add. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like if I play it, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, which is one shy of activating him, right? Oh no, that's even. That's that's exact. So I just popped the Lotus for this. It does also let me play an extra land. Is Time Twister in better, or is just going for it better? I think I'm gonna Time Twister, actually. Where's my time walk? Time walk for the extra turn. And he's done. I probably could get infinite turns at that point. Well, that was just plain stupid. Infinite turns, unlimited. Although it might not have been actually infinite. Having eight moxes out is kind of insane. Oracle of the Alpha is so stupid. Like, what's the most absurd power level we could have on a card that's digital only? Like, what if they had a card that puts the power nine in your deck? It's like, that's evil. I love it. Let's do it. I do think it's kind of annoying. It shouldn't be in Historic. Just keep Alchemy out of Historic, and then I no longer have a problem with Alchemy. Keep this. Start with Agent. Hang on to that first, since it's potentially either color that I might need. For, like, I don't know, Cavalier. If I can full control, I can actually get more mana, right? Full control. Wait, I don't have the mana yet. Oh, shit. Play Golos. Board wipe hits so hard right now, except it doesn't because I just escape Uro if that happens.
Wind Grace is pretty good. Second Sky Sovereign, Crew Sky Sovereign, and then use Agent. Look at these weird interactions. Opponent is at least four colors, probably five. Just haven't seen the island yet. Uh, sacrifice another permanent. Pretty legit. Probably sacrifices a land, right? It's pretty pretty legit, man. Not gonna lie. I mean, Ugin kills Corvold, so if I just get Ugin, right? Fine with that trade. Oh, Tadiova's not bad. Dryad? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I am one shy of getting Golos to work. Could use Nissa to get back something. And then he'll probably attack Nissa with Corvold. Otherwise, otherwise I just get so much mana. If I use her to untap, then I still have the three mana to cast Visionary. At that point, I may as well just play Visionary. can attack me. Of course, then I'd probably just swing back for probably lethal. Can't tell if it would actually be lethal, but... I mean, maybe. Maybe. Right? It's worth a shot, at least. If I draw that dude that doubles everything's power... And I have, you know... Five cards deep if I activate Golos. So, like, draw Golos and Hawkub's Insight. Hawkub, am I pronouncing that right? Hawken? Hawken's Insight? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> no, I don't have lethal. But I don't actually need lethal, right? I think Vinissa, untap. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I think I have exactly enough to cast it. Oh, Garrick's free. Holy crap, yeah, if Garrick's free, that changes things a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you playing fair cards. This format's stupid. This deck is fun, though. Like, honestly, this could be an actual deck. Kind of. Sort of. Oracle of the Alpha is obnoxious. Ancestral Recall is really obnoxious. Um, yeah, sure, I can keep this. As long as I hit a land, I'm okay. Just do this now. Okay, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Mindstone. Hawken will let me try to dig for that fourth land that I need. Oh, I hate that. All right. GG, that sucks. Yeah, I thought a three lander with four drops and a spell that draws a card would be okay, but apparently I was wrong. As long as they don't have anything to abuse in me, all which they do, because otherwise, why do you even run that card? Not the worst. Which isn't saying a whole, whole lot. Can't target itself, right? Another target. Fibblethip is a chump blocker. Oh, we're popping off now. If I can just get Hawken to flip, like I draw land and I flip Hawken, take an extra turn, then I can start popping off. Okay, that's actually not the worst. I was gonna say, oh no, but then I realized, like, if Hawken is my main game plan, uh, which he is at this point, like, I need to top deck a land, and then I can actually play cards. Don't need Fibblethip in play. That's gonna make me think it's Big Ugin. I have to remember that's not Big Ugin. It's a land! It's an omen! All right, uh. The free rash me would not be the worst, actually.
can only play one of these, which is rough. Although I could Timeless and get something else back. Let's see, I can Ashaya and then Timeless into Fibblethip. Either way, I think I'm gonna drop Ashaya. I think I'll just play Rashmi here. Because the Cascade ish thing is pretty good. At least having Ashaya out potentially stops Emil from just killing me. Just doming me outright. Ugh, that hurts. He gains nine. I have to take seven. Ouch. Could also Ugin, but that doesn't seem correct. I think. I don't have a one drop. I can play a land. Okay, so three and then one, two, three, four, five, six. And that has Menace. So I think I'm dead, actually. I needed to play Timeless. Uh, well, let's just kill that, I guess. I think I'm dead. Oh wait, but if he blinks Noxious to use it as a kill spell, then he can't attack with it. Let's hope he forgets about that. Little fact. Okay. What is this? When it dies, exile it, put another card from your graveyard on top of your library. Do I have a card in my graveyard that I want on top? I actually don't. I don't want any of these on top. Could you, could you don't? I guess Fibblethip. Can I decline? Yeah, I think I decline. Oh, let's, uh, let's decline. Kill Sky Sovereign. Sure. Um, block it to keep the life total up. That's just a free draw, so I may as well. Let's see, I have to hit for six to get everything. Of 
Oracle of the Alpha. Probably gets back Noxious, right? Which I then kill with Ugin. Kill it. Kill it with Ugin. Witness means my graveyard is pretty worthwhile. Like, if he plays something with three toughness, I can Sky Sovereign it. Like that, for example. Puts it on tap, right? the equipment. So Time Twister we do not want to play unless we have to. Give the opponent a whole lot of value. Rights! Seems legit. not give haste. Let me think. Time Twister would feel really bad here. Tap target. Almost out of basics. See, again, it's like a, I'd really rather not play Time Twister. Oh shit. Now there's a question. I'm about to get the answer, and I'm terrified of it. It's a yes or no question about a certain card. Do they have it? That is the question. Push comes to shove, that's what matters here. Maybe should have time twistered and dug for the time walk. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Whew! I was terrified there for a second. So he's planning to unburial rights the Gear Hulk over again. Um, do I crew up, or do I just block, like here, for example? That's fine. Doesn't have trample or anything.
Sure. Bye bye, Golos. Oh. Sure. Okay. We'll definitely drop the jet. Probably drop a Sika. Um. Start with Time Twister, actually. Or the opponent has no cards in hand. But he can do some tappy tappy nonsense here. If I use Witness to get back Oracle, for example. Let's play Asika first off. Okay. I think I don't mind just losing Garrick for a 3 3. Eternalize it to get back. Oracle? I don't really want to eternalize it, actually. Case in point. Can't activate that version. Agent, Ruby, Time Walk, seems legit. So I do have an extra turn after this one. Let's take the moment to just kill that, yeah. Can also eternalize the witness and just get back the Time Walk now. Yeah, let's do this. Maximum greed.
Um. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. That would be one shy, but I think this does it. And if it doesn't, then I will time twister afterwards. GG! Apparently Oracle of the Alpha is my entire deck. I don't know how much talking I did that game. I feel like I might have been quiet for long periods of time, but I don't really know. I was too into it. I was too into it to actually think about talking about it. I am texting. That's what this quietude is. And then Agent of Rafine. Sure, 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 sure. It's dead. Okay. Well, you got me there. We both have our own way of ramping, don't we? Puts Lutri in hand. Sure. Draw, drop the land. I think I'll just witness the Uro back in hand. Another kill spell. I'm surprised. I'm not that surprised, but I'm a little surprised that they prioritized low damage to creature type spells. Strikes me as a little bit odd. Yog Moth. Oh, I'm gonna kill him, right? Ugin is not a human. I do need to start drawing some fuel, though. Oh, wow. Of all the cards to kill Ugin, that one's the most insulting. Teddy Ova, play a land.
And Uro. Alright, the value train is a chugging along. 27 life, so I'm not too worried about aggro. I am worried about him killing Tadiova, though. Uh, I'm not that worried about it, though. I'll block. Embercleave! Sure. Cost three to equip. Let's start with you. Added. Opponent had an upkeep stop for some reason. I uh, figured. It's okay, Garrick served his purpose. Shy is not bad. Play Shia. Play Golos. Hit him for three. And he's done. Must not have had a kill spell. Alright, I guess this deck works pretty well. Oh, it might be the last game coming up, so let's take another look real quick, just to see what I've got going. Yep. Yep. Lots of card draw, and then bombs. But a lot of these games have just been one off the back of um, Oracle of the Alpha. Because Oracle of the Alpha just does so much. Mandelbarb. Not Mana Barb. Can't keep that. Can keep this. Probably just drop Ronus. My question is, do I play Hawken or Caryatid first? Uh, I'll go with Hawken. Scry. Opponent is slow. If he doesn't kill Hawken, does he have a fetch? Oh man. No. He has a tap land. Uh, so we played a land. Mm. Play Teddy over first. Bad as it kind of feels. And Ashaya. So I probably pitch the land now to Hawken. Uh, 
That is the Harrow. Oh, that's gonna give him a lot of mana with Cobra. He was checking his colors, so that's one, two. Did they come in tapped? Good. At least they come in tapped, so he'll have four mana, which is what he started out with. It actually, if I think uh, Hawken is gonna flip, Like, if I do think Hawkins gonna flip, it might be smart to, um... Falco Spar out. Well then. Free Ashaya? Okay. It's not bad. Yeah, a Shio with Tadiova's kinda nuts. That's kinda nuts. He has all the mana now. And a lot of card draw too. Is he a frickin' bone splinters or something? Either way, I can at least, like, kill Falco Spara with Sky Sovereign. Okay, I'll take three. He has five mana. Like, he has the ability to do a lot of things. Start with Fibblethip, since he draws me two cards. So, one, two, three, four, five. So I do have five more mana on top of it all. Let's play Sky Sovereign. Shoot down Falco Spara, I guess. Or this can draw me more cards. And then I still have the mana to do other things. It's gonna draw me three cards. Uh, Dryad, since it lets me play an extra land. Nissa gets back a permanent. Not the greatest. So if I play Dryad, I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's worth it. No trample giver. Still leaves me three, so... Play Oracle. Let's 
It's pretty good. Hawkins kind of dead at this point. Oh, he did it because he gets a Hawkin. I get it. I get it. I get what's going on. Golos! Which you should have used the orrery for. So now you do not have the five colors necessary to activate Golos. This is only cast spells. Oh, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can do that. Kenrith Magma Opus. He has some damage to throw around. Yeah, Tadiov is the right target. Although Dryad is also pretty good. What is this thing's crew? Three? There it is. Sure. He could give haste and hit me. But he probably dies if he does that. Not sure it's smart. In fact, I'm pretty sure it isn't. At that point, all I need to do is, like, miss a Garrick. Still have Tadiova, so... Start with this. I'm seeing if I can hit Time Walk or something. Pearl. Opponent has no mana, right? They have one mana. Okay. If they have Fog. Can I Timeless Witness? Anything useful? Uro will draw me two more cards. Three more cards, potentially. Come on. I have to hit Time Walk eventually. There it is. Sapphire. Time Walk. Okay. Forty-four twenty-two coming at ya. I was probably very quiet for a lot of that because I was thinking about what I was doing. 
Tribal Power 9. That was stupid. But I had a lot of fun, so I guess it wasn't stupid. If it works, it ain't stupid. Hey. That was a ton of fun. Who'd have thought starting with just Ugin and then kind of thinking about going red and then I'm like, uh, well, I think it was, um, Tadiova. I was like, well, I guess blue. Because this is a lot stronger than any of the red cards. Very cool, very cool. I hope you all enjoyed that. I definitely did. Uh, anyway, peace out, y'all.